guys uh, so in this video we're going to talk about how to use the third hook uh, which is our customized preview init hook uh, and the job of this hook is basically to if you go on to codex wordpress org you can see that this can dramatically improve the user experience and it's going to make things a lot faster so basically when you make any changes over here uh, currently the entire page is being refreshed to see the live preview but that won't happen once we have the third hook in place the third functionality in place and it's just going to include a JavaScript file uh, which will go ahead and render this live preview much faster okay so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we'll go back to our theme so previously if you remember we we had a customizer.php into our includes folder but we commented it out and we created a new file custom customizer.php which we include that into our functions.php file and we went ahead and created a you know uh, cust customized register function from scratch but this time what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uncomment this out okay i'm going to pause the video and uncomment it all right so i have uncommented it so basically how you do it how you use the third hook customize preview in it use add action and then we have a defined a pre user defined uh, function and you can see that if you go to customize api it says that make sure your settings are all configured to the live preview transport uh, property should have post message and that's what we have here transport property as port message. I'll explain to you in a bit as to you know what what is happening over here but uh, just to as to if you're referring to the uh, codex that's what they're talking about create a new JavaScript file theme customize.js to handle life changes so we've already done that but uh, in, into our JS folder uh, but we have named it as customizer.js and not customize uh, not not the one they mention us to do theme customize .js. So instead of that, we just put the name as customizer.js. Okay. What we need to do is we need to include this file into our customizer.php file. Okay. And that's what we are doing over here. I'll just explain to you. <clears throat> okay. So you need to update your transport methods. Okay. So We'll go over these and just to let you know that the job of this function is to basically include our JavaScript file, okay, the customizer.js, which is there in the JS folder. Okay, so this MQ script I'm sure you already know about, you know, how to include a JavaScript file. I'm not going to go over that. Okay, so we're calling the add action, it's going to include uh, this particular hook, is going to call this function, it's going to include our customizer.js file to go ahead and you know uh, make the live preview more faster okay um, so coming back on to our this function so this already has the custom gospel customized register function which we had created over here okay and this uh, and this add action is also defined into customizer.php uh, file okay so all we have to do is in this function we just need to include our three functions that we had declared which is add setting add section and add control so I'm just going to copy that <coughs> and I'm going to paste that in this function okay so now this function earlier this function had add setting add section add control but now it also has the three additional function which are required for us to achieve the functionality of this hook uh, customize preview init hook which is the third hook that we're talking about okay <clears throat> right and uh, this file what it has additional as compared to the previous file is is this uh, third hook which is basically calling this function and including our JavaScript file and um, we also have the uh, these two hooks as well the job of which was if you remember to go ahead and show our live preview 
and I'm going to include that as well into our customizer.php file right here. So I've just included add action wp head, which was our second hook that we spoke about. And it's calling the function to go ahead and change the CSS properties. Okay, right now. So just to recap, I'm just going to close this file because we don't need it now. We've included everything into our customizer.php file. <clears throat> so what's different, what's changed as per the last as compared to the last video is that we still have the same function. We still have the add action customizer register hook. We still have the add action WP head with this function. All is changed is this part right here and this part. Okay, so we have included all these functions and and these three settings, methods and everything. We've added that and we've also added this additional third hook that we want to talk about. <clears throat> Alright, okay, so cool. So let's go back to our codex. All right, so it says, please note all of the WordPress theme customized setting use transport refresh by default. So you want to make default uh, built-in theme customizer option also take advantage of this. You can easily update their transport method within your customizer. So we have to do this for each of our um, for each of our setting ID. Okay, so this blog name, blog description, and everything that was for the previous settings of the WordPress, but we have to add one more for our additional um, section that we have created which is color so for this color uh, we have to define one more so we're going to copy this paste it and we need to use the same setting id that we have used here which is header bg color So that's all you have to do. You have to do only two things. You need to ensure you need to have this method get setting of the class uh, whose object that's been instantiated will be customized. And uh, you need the transport property should have post message as the name. You need to use this hook to call a function uh, which will include your JavaScript file. That's all you have to do to achieve that functionality to make your live preview faster. <clears throat> now we'll go into the customizer. Yes, and see and see what's going on over here. So it's got a um, self-executing function, and um, it's calling the wp dot customize, uh, saying block name function value dot bind. Um, so basically, you know, it's just going to go ahead and apply the CSS um, So basically it's going to go ahead and apply the CSS uh, to these site title, site description and everything every time the user change, make any, makes any changes uh, from your you know, customizer. So whenever he makes any changes, go ahead and apply that uh, over here as well. Okay. So you need to go ahead and define the uh, one more function over here which is basically for your own um, setting that you have created, which I'll explain to you now. Or what I'll do is I'll make the next uh, video and I'll explain to you and not. Okay. Till then, thank you very much. Bye.